Unity's line renderer can be used to draw simple lines by just entering two points of the line. Now, if you want to draw complex polygon shapes like hexagons or uh, maybe a rectangle also, you should know the mathematics behind it. So if you take a look at this diagram, so this is a square. And if I know the first position, that is the first vertex, then to get the second vertex, I need to rotate this vector by 90 degrees to get this vertex. So I can repeat that by rotating the first vector by 180 degrees and getting this vertex and by 270 degrees to get this vertex. So once I have all four vertex, I can enter that into the line renderer to get a square. So if I want to draw a pentagon which has five vertex, the angle by which I need to rotate the first vertex is 360 divided by five, which is 72 degrees. And to get the next vertex, I can multiply 72 by two and then rotate the first vertex by that much degrees. So I can continue that to draw any number of complex polygons. So in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to make a generalized code where the user can enter the number of vertices and the initial vector. So we'll be able to draw the polygon based on the input. So the end result will look something like this. So the user will be able to enter the number of vertices. So say he needs six and the initial position is one and four. And if I play the game, so it will draw a hexagon for me and the starting vertices will be 1 comma 4. So you can see it starts from 1 comma 4 and then it rotates the vector to get the other five positions. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the script. So what we have done here is we have added a required component line renderer. So if the line renderer component is not added by default, then Unity will add it for you. And we are getting the vertices and initial position from the user. And we are declaring a variable of type line renderer. And in the start function, we are getting the line renderer component. And we are setting the position count to the vertices entered by the user. Then we are setting the start width and the line width. Since I wanted a thin line, I've set it to 0.25. So you can set it to any number that you want. Then we are creating a new positions array. So this array will hold all the values of the position and the initial value of the position that is the first position of the line renderer will be the value entered by the user. So the initial position is assigned to the zero index of the positions. Now for the other positions, we are going to multiply this vector by a quaternion, which is basically the degree by which we need to rotate the vector. So to get that, you have to say quaternion.euler and x and y is going to be zero because we are going to rotate in the z direction. So 360 multiplied by i. For first vertex, i will be one. For the second vertex, i will be two, so on. So you must remember that you can, you can only multiply a quaternion by vector. You cannot do the other way around. That is vector three into quaternion will give you an error. So the quaternion part should come in front and then it will be multiplied by the vector. So if your vertex, if you if you're basically drawing an hexagon, then the first value will be 0, 0, 60. And that quaternion will be multiplied by my initial position, that is the initial vector. And that will be saved as my first vertex. Because the zero index is my initial position. So the first vertex will be 60 degree rotated. And the second one will be 120 degree and so on. So once we have all our position from the for loop, we will set that to the line renderer. And we want the last position to be looped to the first position. So we are setting the line renderer loop to true. So that's it for the script. And once we go back to Unity, you can enter any number. You can just say eight and you can set any position. And if you play, you should have the polygon. So this script is available in Vionic Studio. I'll leave the link to the blog post in the description. So you can just copy it and use it. Hope this was helpful. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.